So here's Kaimi Fairbairn to do the honors. And we are underway from FedEx Field. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw. Daniels. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Up the middle with Eckler. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. Off play action. Daniels finding Ertz here on the out route. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 23. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here come the Texans now for their first drive. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And this will be a Texans first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. Stroud now. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards, the final tally. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge. And they complete the pass there for another first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about ten yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing now is Stroud. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Joe Mixon, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Texans are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. They went five wide in that offensive set. In racing, going three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Brought down on the play by the linebacker, Christian Harris. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and five. Off the play fake, Daniels. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The defensive end, Daniil Hunter, drops him. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Third down and 13. Looking to throw. Daniels. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 
A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now from our nation's capital and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 27-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Throwing on first down, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. On first and 10, Daniels. This is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Zach Ertz, a 14-yard touchdown. And Washington has taken the lead. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Now McManus for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven. So a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. They'll start by running the option to the right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. It's complete to Diggs. So no gain on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Even though they were stopped before the first down marker, well-executed run there by the offense. It certainly was, and the best part about it, it opens up other plays, especially the play-action passing game. Because if you can sell the run, that brings the linebackers up, and you can throw over the top of them and in front of the safeties. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. 
Able to fight through one tackle. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He hasn't had a ball touch the ground yet. Eight of eight throwing it. Perfect so far, including the touchdown on the last drive, you remember, as they begin first and 10 here. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Second down and four. Off play action, Daniels looking Austin Eckler's way again. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pickup, first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Back to throw again. Zach Ertz has it complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Running on first down, Eckler. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now second and five. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Taking it in from the 20. And the Commanders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. We've seen this already from him in this game. Second time, he's into the end zone with a rushing touchdown. So the head coach is going to have to have a meeting with the owner this week. You know why? He's got to let the owner know, I know you wrote the check for his arm, but we're going to make him a part of our running game too. This guy can do it all. Let's see where he takes us. McManus's point after is good, and it's now 21 to 7. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Texans back out there and ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. start out here with a jet sweep and that is not fooling anyone 
He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Going deep for Diggs. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Houston. Stephon Diggs, 77 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment for the guys covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And the Washington offense set to take over again. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels, that's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Daniels on the screen. This is Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. On first down, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Finding Ertz again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Again, he'll drop to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Stroud to the air on first and ten. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. 
Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Second and 10. Stroud working out of the gun. Throw over the middle is taken in by Dell. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Third and two. Now Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now is second and 10. Stroud. Throw right side, taken in by Collins. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. And Diggs has it. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Trout. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Fairbairn able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we a happy sight for a lot of these fans. We're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. 
And now we move our focus to Stefan Diggs. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Stroud off the play fake. And he finds his target at Schultz. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. And Stroud now to throw. The left side caught by Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first down, here's Stroud. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Play action. Here's Stroud. To the sideline and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. Mixing up the middle. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. They run for it with Mixon. Nice footwork at the 25, and he is going to have a Texans first down. They only needed one, but it ends up being a gain of six and moves the chains. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. On second down, here's Mixon. Oh, he shifts past him. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 49 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. 
Once again, they run with Mixon. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. That's to McCaffrey complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Looking to throw, Daniels. That's caught, it's McCaffrey again. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Off the play fake, Daniels. His throw incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. They'll look to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Throwing on first down, Daniels. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Back to throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Back now at FedEx Field. 
It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. This is a counter play, Eckler, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. 38-yard line, second and nine. Back to throw, Daniels. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 21. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. On first and 10, Daniels. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Looking to throw, Daniels. This is swung out to Eckler. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Off the bootleg, Daniels. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, Tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Back to throw. Daniels. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Danico Autry, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Looking to throw, Daniels, middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch, however, it's fourth down. Well, you know me pretty well now. You know what I want to do after that completed pass. Fourth down, down by three. What do I want to do here? Well, you want to go for it. You might be tempted. I think they need to kick it. Yeah, someone might have to overrule me. Get the kicker out there, tie this game up. The kick by McManus is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Ready up. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down, eight to go from the 28. 
Throwing now is Stroud. Over the middle, he gets it to Collins. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. The Texans send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now it's Crowder. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw on second down, Daniels. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300, that means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down and six now. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So here now is Brandon McManus in a big spot. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by McManus is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they managed the clock exactly right. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 
So Stroud and the Texans down 27-24, a little under a minute 50 remaining. Now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Here's Stroud. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Another try, second and 10 now. Stroud to throw it. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Meanwhile, Stroud's throw taken in by Diggs. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Now second down and a few inches. Now Stroud. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. Touchdown, Houston. Dalton Schultz, 50 yards. And the Texans use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was the tight end Dalton Schultz on the touchdown reception to cap the drive. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And now it's Washington's turn, trailing by four, a little under a minute to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. throw powering forward and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 and Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game two timeouts still available in this final minute it's first and ten now He's back to throw. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth.
This is first and ten. Back to throw. Finding Ertz here on the out route. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The two big plays, one after the other. Now all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them. Here's first down. He'll look to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win. But they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Stroud. He gets this complete to Diggs. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Here comes second down. To throw with Stroud. That's complete to Dell. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Here's first and ten. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.